Interviewing for jobs can be stressful, difficult, and really time consuming overall. And this is especially true in the commercial real estate industry where the interview process can sometimes last for months with four to six rounds often being necessary just to finish the process and end up receiving an offer. And if you've done the work up front to land an interview in the first place, the last thing you want to do is come in unprepared, especially in a tight hiring market like we're seeing right now. So to make sure you are ready for this process and you're prepared for the topics that are the most likely to come up during these interview rounds, in this video, we'll cover the three most common types of questions that are asked within commercial real estate interviews and how to answer each of these to stand out from the competition. So the first thing to note about commercial real estate interviews is that in the vast majority of cases, these are primarily going to be behavioral in nature and will very rarely include in-depth technical questions where you'll be asked to run complex calculations on the spot directly in your head. While companies will usually test out your technical knowledge at some point during the process, these questions are usually going to be confined within a formal Excel modeling exam where you'll be given assumptions and asked to build a model from scratch in Excel and then answer several questions related to the case. However, throughout the majority of the interview process, the primary focus of most companies is going to be around learning more about your background, learning more about your goals, engaging your general knowledge of the commercial real estate industry that allows you to think critically when analyzing deals. And with this in mind, the first category of questions that you'll often be asked takes a deeper dive into how you got to where you are today and where you're looking to go in the future. And I like to refer to these as backward-looking and forward-looking career-related questions. Backward-looking career-related questions focus on your career path up to this point, and common questions here include things like talk me through your resume, tell me about yourself, or can you describe your experience at a specific company on your resume with all of these questions essentially asking you to describe to the interviewer how your unique career path so far has prepared you for the role and to tie in as many of your past experiences as possible to the things that you'd be doing if you were hired for the job. And to prepare for these types of questions, you'll want to make sure to review the job description in detail beforehand and actually pick out some specific work experiences that you've had or academic projects that you've worked on that are directly related to the responsibilities or the qualifications required for the role that would ideally make the interviewer arrive at the conclusion that you're a natural fit based on what you've done so far. Now, the second half of this is career-related questions that are more forward-looking, where you'll need to answer questions around where you see yourself in the future and the overall direction you want to take your career with common questions here, including things like, where do you see yourself in five years? What would you like to be doing in this industry long-term? And other questions related to your goals in commercial real estate and how those tie in to the role you're applying for. In almost all cases, companies are looking for a long-term fit when making a new hire, and these types of questions are your opportunity to clearly communicate that this job aligns with where you want to be in the future, and that progressing on this specific path would get you toward that goal. So to prepare for these questions, take some time up front to think about how you can describe yourself as a long-term solution and why you'd want to grow within the organization. Now, aside from career-related questions, the second category of questions that you'll often run into within commercial real estate interviews are job-specific questions directly related to the company that you'd be working for. These questions often look something along the lines of, why do you want to work for our specific company? What interests you about this specific product type that we focus on? Or why are you interested in this specific industry discipline that you'd be working in on the job? Each of which allow a company to see how much you actually know about the firm, how much research you've done on the organization itself before coming into the interview, and often how likely you are to stick around long-term. Employers know that a lot of young professionals will accept an offer just as a means to an end or really as a stepping stone to a different or better career opportunity, which means that a hiring manager is going to have their guard up against short-term solutions that are clearly going to leave as soon as they can. 
And these types of questions are your opportunity to show that you both care about this process and you've taken the time up front to invest in learning more about this role and that you're also aligned with what the company is doing, where their main focus is, and their overall strategy that guides the whole team. This means that if you are interviewing for an asset management job at a company that buys retail shopping centers in the Southeast United States, for example, your hiring manager is going to wanna to see that you have a general idea of what the company's portfolio currently looks like and what the firm's strategy is today, but also that asset management and the retail sector specifically are the exact parts of the industry where you wanna build your career. The main goal for you here is to demonstrate your belief or curiosity in both what you'll be working on and the mission that you'll be working towards and that you're aligned with what the company is doing on a day-to-day -day basis and ultimately what would be required of you if you were to take the job. Now, the last category of questions that I wanna talk about isn't related to your career path or the company itself, but instead the commercial real estate industry as a whole. And these are market related questions that test your knowledge of the commercial real estate business. Questions that would fall under this category might include things like, if you had $100 million to invest today, where would you invest that money? Which stage of the real estate cycle do you think we're currently in? Or what do you think will happen to property values if interest rates rise or interest rates fall? And each of these questions require you to state a thesis and then back that thesis up with either general market data or general commercial real estate knowledge. But what this really does is it tests your ability to think critically about current market events directly within the context of commercial real estate. Now, with most of these, there usually isn't going to be a concrete right or wrong answer, but to make sure you're prepared for these types of questions, you'll wanna go in knowing the general direction of where interest rates have gone over the last 12 to 18 months. You wanna know what capital markets activity has looked like, which you can find for free in quarterly reports put out by the major brokerage firms like CBRE, Cushman & Wakefield, and Newmark, and you'll also wanna look for recent research related to the specific product type that you'll be working in to spot trends or opportunities that might be materializing. What companies are really looking for here is someone that not only keeps up with the commercial real estate market and current events, but also someone that can clearly gather data, build an educated thesis behind that data, and then communicate that clearly to clients, partners, lenders, or investors, depending on which part of the industry you're trying to work within especially in analyst and associate roles where you're just breaking into the industry for the first time, one of your biggest responsibilities is going to be selling a deal on paper and telling the story of an investment in a clear and compelling way. And these types of questions make sure that you can think critically beyond just memorizing definitions and calculations, and you can actually apply your knowledge of the industry to the things you'll need to do on the job. Now, like I mentioned earlier on in this video, there usually will be a technical component that is absolutely important to prepare for as well, but if you wanna make sure you're ready for the other parts of the interview process before a case study comes up, these are three types of questions that you wanna prepare for going in to the commercial real estate interview process. And if you do wanna make sure you're ready for that technical component and you wanna make sure you can tackle an Excel modeling exam that might be given to you before you're given an offer, as always, make sure to check out our all-in-one membership training platform, Breaking a CRE Academy. A membership to the Academy will give you instant access to over 120 hours of video training on real estate financial modeling and analysis. You'll get access to hundreds of practice Excel interview exam questions, sample acquisition case studies, and you'll also get access to the Breaking a CRE Analyst Certification Exam, which covers topics like real estate pro forma and development modeling, commercial real estate lease modeling, equity waterfall modeling, and many other real estate financial analysis concepts that will help you prove to employers that you have what it takes to tackle tackle the responsibilities of an analyst or associate at a top real estate firm. And if you like this video and want to see more content on the channel, on the interview process, or any specific parts of this process in more detail, make sure to hit the like button and let me know. And let me know in the comments what types of questions you've been asked in real estate interviews and any that would fall outside of these three categories. As always, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you found this helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to see more videos like this every single week, and I'll see you in the next video.